Fab Lab started off as an outreach program from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It began life as a class that was run by Professor Neil Gershenfeld in the Centre for Bits and Atoms. Uh, his theory behind that was that if you give people access to the various types of machinery that we have here in the lab, that people could create their ideas and produce almost any object. Predominantly the work that we do is getting people in to make things, uh, create objects that they have designed, whether it be individual one-off things or products that they're eventually looking to bring to market. In the lab we have various different machines. We would have a laser cutter, a vinyl cutter, uh, a large scale, three axis CNC mill, various 3D printers as well as an advanced electronics prototyping and testing station. From we have started off there's been a huge interest in the Fab Lab, not only the Fab Lab itself but the concept and this idea of being globally linked through the various, the various different labs and also obviously with uh, MIT itself. I choose Fab Lab because here we can share ideas, knowledge, uh, design. I like people that are really motivated with engineering and design people who are very creative. Fabula Belfast has very high quality professional working here. And the most important thing is that uh, they don't only give knowledge or training to the community for today, they only develop a project for the future. The Princess Trust have teamed up with um, Fab Lab as a delivery partner relationship where we bring the young people um, to Fab Lab and they deliver a five-day programme for us. Um, obviously they have the expertise, the equipment, machinery and to do that and we hope that we'll continue to run more programmes in the future. We mainly run these programmes in sports and arts but we're also trying to branch into STEM related um, subjects for our young people so this is the first time we've worked with Fab Lab in the North Belfast community. We currently have nine uh, young people on the programme. All these young people are unemployed and come from various other target groups that we work with. All of the young people will have shown an interest in the theme which is product design so over the five days they're getting the opportunity to learn from the experts and uh, sample machinery that they probably haven't seen before. I've made quite a few things, I've made a little box, I've made key rings, I've made 3D cars. It's, some of the things were actually easier than I thought, some of the things were much harder than I thought. Like the 3D printing, the design it wasn't too hard but then actually getting it to print out was a <laughs> Uh, experience. Had a really good time and I definitely would recommend it. I would recommend anyone have a go with that laser cutter. It's the funnest thing in here as far as I'm concerned. I think the impacts that Fab Lab Belfast makes in an area like New Lodge in an area like North Belfast is that it brings something completely different. It has a different offering for in my case children and young people that we work with but also the adults. Um, it's bringing something that otherwise would be completely inaccessible to the children and young people that we work with. Their schools don't have access to this equipment. They wouldn't have access to the equipment. New Lodge Arts, New Lodge Youth Centre have worked with the Fab Lab Belfast on quite a range of different projects, starting with general after-school programmes where we've brought young people from the age of eight to 11 round to the Fab Lab to basically learn new skills in digital fabrication. From using the computers and the 3D printers to create their ideas and through to kind of more outcome-based programs where we've been looking at creation of a community garden. There was initially a 3D model made around Fab Lab of the garden and together the young people and the workers have helped to create stuff for the garden like different signs and they've even painted the tags and done most of it all themselves. Since they've been using Fab Lab they're more confident using the computers and the laser cutter, sticker maker. They make signs for the youth centre, for the toilets, the rooms stickers for the garden, it's just it helps with all the programmes that we're running. The best thing about coming to Fab Lab was making a phone case with Steve. We got the measurements online and then we made it on the 3D printer. Before coming to Fab Lab I never used to like using computers because they were boring but now I like using them because you can make what you want. The best thing about having a Fab Lab in the Lodge is getting to make things for your community and for the youth centre. One of the things that we are very proud of here in Fab Lab is that it gives everyone the opportunity to come in and use what is considered to be advanced manufacturing equipment. Traditionally, uh, the only way you would ever even hear of this equipment, uh, not, not less use it, is that if you were studying at, like degrees at university, going on to study masters of engineering, product design, electronics, software, things like that. And by the nature of that, there are people who come from areas that maybe don't have a high educational standard or things of that nature. Through no fault of their own, they're, they're barred from having access to this type of equipment. So in the lab, we, everyone is free to use whatever piece of equipment that they want. The only thing that we ask of them is that they're willing to learn.